<laughs> but um, it's a it's um it's a true story that I read in the newspaper on New Year's Day, uh, two thousand and ten, and it, it immediately just um, sparked all my senses. All my senses came to life, and it, just uh, the notion that um, it's illegal to dance in Iran, I was I was quite startled by that fact, and I saw it as a symbol for um, for so many other things and so many other basic human rights and, and basic freedoms that are not um, are not permitted in certain countries in the world, not just Iran. And just I was so inspired by the story of Ashin Ghaffarian on how he um, he had a, he just had a dream to become a dancer. And when he went to university in Tehran, he started an underground dance company with his friends, and they used YouTube to teach them how to dance. Um, and YouTube was the only method they had to teach themselves how to dance, to watch videos from Bob Fosse or Pina Bausch, Martha Graham, and um, Brishnikov and Nureyev, and all of the greats. And they used YouTube, and they actually, um, they taught themselves how to dance in the underground prayer room, in an old disused prayer room, uh, where no one could find them. And if they were caught, they would have all been arrested. And it's the story about how they formed this dance group in Iran in secret, and put on a performance in the middle of the desert, 100 miles out of the city where no one could find them. And, um, and a bus went around Tehran picking up the audience, young students, those who were brave enough to kind of risk it by coming to watch a live dance performance. And, um, and it's, it's their story on how they put on this dance performance and the events that would follow set against the protests of 2009, the, those events that sparked a revolution across the Middle East and, and North Africa, which we're still seeing today. And it's the story about how um, how young people fight for their dreams and fight for what's right. And I, I just 